What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nicole or Jocelyn. And today we are going to be taking neat notes on a budget. The first semester is coming up and I know that it is back to school season for a lot of people and we're all going to be doing online learning. And I know that a lot of you guys enjoyed watching my stationery haul last time. So this time we're going the complete opposite of the spectrum and show that you don't really need a lot of expensive stationery to make neat notes. And this video is actually inspired by you guys. A lot of your comments talked about how much you love stationery and how much you guys want to have all these stationeries and study materials because I know that you guys want to have nice pretty notes just as much as I do. So I'm gonna show you guys some ways to make your notes nice and neat without needing all of the crazy stationeries. So let's start this school year positive and enjoy studying on a budget. What time is it? It is 3 o'clock and I'm actually wearing this watch from Nordgreen and Nordgreen is the sponsor of today's video so thank you to Nordgreen I'll be talking about them in a little bit and so guys I hope that you enjoy this video I've been so excited to film it and I've just been like really busy with my shop actually I just released some new stationery that I designed and some of them which you guys requested for me and on my shop I also sell jewelry so maybe you guys can check that out anyway without further ado let's start the note taking so I've been wearing my Nordgreen watch for a while now I ordered the native in gold which is 32 millimeters diameter also I got two extra straps because this watch has changeable straps which is super cool and there's just a huge variety on their website so I got the black leather and the white leather with the gold buckle and you can really choose because there are so many Nordgreen is a Scandinavian watch company with designs by Jakob Wagner, who is one of Scandinavia's most heavily awarded and respected designers. With over 20 years of experience designing for international companies, including Bang and Olufsen and Hay. Social responsibility is a big thing for Nordgreen, which is something I appreciate. Your watch is the start of your story. With each one that you purchase, you actually have the unique ability to donate part of that purchase to the cause that means the most to you. Because Nordgreen works with three NGOs, which are Cool Earth, Pratham, and Water for Good. You can read more about them in the website. And also guys, I have a very unique discount code for you guys, which is 15% off any purchase from Nordgreen, so right. make sure to check out Nordgreen in the description box. Alright, so these are the materials that we will be using for today's video. I got the cheapest pen that I own and it's actually already broken but it still has ink. It's this HBV ballpoint pen which you can find nearly anywhere. I once bought a pen from a street vendor on the way to an exam I was running late for. Silly me, I left my pen! We also have colored pens and today we will be using a pink ball pen from Bic or BIC. You guys already know that I usually only take notes with one or two colors to keep it neat. I personally think that bright pigmented colors like pink or red are great for remembering what you write down. Usually the most available colors are black, red, and blue pens so I think pink is actually a bit of a luxury. If you do want to buy a set of pens, I would recommend this big pen. I know it comes in different colors like purple. In high school, I went through so many sets of these dual tip markers and made really pretty notes with them. I think that this set is 200 pesos and I like that for headers and titles, I can use the thicker end. I also have this really nice pen set from Shopee. It is also 200 pesos and it's just these colored gel pens. I'll leave it in the description box. It actually comes with this pencil case for free. We have a single highlighter color. I like to compartmentalize my notes into colors so that when I recall them, I can think of a color and word grouping. And that's why I like to use only two colors maximum. Also, I like doing this because my mind doesn't get too overwhelmed and cross-eyed with my page memory. So today, we will be choosing between a pen and highlighter because a minimalist neat look would mean that less, maybe more. We will be using this lined paper which I used every single day in high school. It's nice to have lined, dotted, or grid papers to make sure that you're writing straight and neat. But you can also use a bond paper if you can write straight already. Binders and binder refills are definitely 
a luxury to save up for, which I saved up for, but hey, they really do come in handy. I'll be having a little giveaway in this video since I got gifted these cute binders you see. In the giveaway, I will also be including samples of my newly released washi tape samples which I designed as well as these super cute binder inserts you guys have been requesting for for forever which you can find in my shop at Jocelyn Creates. I will also be including some surprise stickers and notepads so keep watching to learn how to join. Okay, so into the writing part. For wide, loose papers like this, I like to divide it in half vertically like my high school science teacher teacher Dan did. I was really inspired by his neat handwriting and notes. He was a very uh, hardworking and smart biology major from PNU. You could ask him any science question and he'd answer it. So if you're using a colored ball pen, there are many ways to make headers and important words. You can write the word as is, underline, and box an existing word. I also really like italicizing important words and descriptions, kind of like how they do in books or Wikipedia. If you are taking your time, you can also make your header cute by making the font decorative in different ways. Putting mental tabs or a space for descriptions can also make your notes more readable and less congested. I also suggest using a ruler to make your notes look a lot neater. It makes a huge difference. I kept a small ruler or protractor in my pencil case since we needed to have at least one of them for math in high school. It really makes your notes a lot more readable and neat. If I had to choose between highlighters and colored pens, I would choose colored pens because you can do so much with them. But if you're a highlighter kind of person, here are some ways you can use it to make your notes nice and pretty. For the title, you can use it for your font itself or do a nice dash down the top of the page to train your mind to remember that page. I really like how this looks. Depending on the color and thickness of the highlighter, you may or may not use it to write down subheaders, but I like using my highlighters to simply underline or highlight words. Here are also some crafty, um, nice decorative ways to make headers. I think that this way my notes can be organized and not too saturated with color. Some more affordable ways to have different colors of highlighters is this set of markers similar to the Crayola Super Tips, which I went through so many, many times in high school as well. They have a nice dip which you can use for both writing down things and highlighting as well. They're also great for coloring in drawings. They also have a brush pen look if you practice and I like them because a lot of their colors are similar to the pricey Tombow brush pens. Just take note that they are washable markers so if your notes get wet, it will smudge for sure. I will leave a link in the description for these as well as the other markers I mentioned. Oh, look at the time. Oh, don't you just love this watch? I love wearing it talaga. Anyway, just make sure to check out the link in the description box. I have a discount code for you guys. Anyway, it's giveaway time. So I'm really, really very excited for you guys to try out my washi tape. I designed them and really put so much thought into them. I'm hoping to eventually make more rolls which highlight our unique Philippine culture and beautiful country. So I hope you guys can share it and support. I'm actually still selling them at a discount launch price so make sure to grab some now if you plan to. I also sell my resin art in my shop so stop by if you can. Anyway, I will be giving away washi tape samples, these smaller binder bookmark inserts, this B5 binder stickers, and other stationary items. To join, share this video on Facebook and tag my Facebook page Jocelyn Nicole and use the hashtag Jocelyn creates washi tapes. That's plural, washi tapes. Make sure that you like and follow both my Facebook page and my Instagram shop at Jocelyn Creates. And when you're done sharing, comment done in the comment section of this video. For extra chances of winning, share this IG post right here from my shop on your IG story and comment done in the comment section of that post. And make sure to tag Justin Creates in your story so that I can see it and take a screenshot and check when I do draw the winners randomly. I'm gonna be using that random comment um, chooser thing to pick who wins. Definitely guys, please join this giveaway. I'm very excited. I just love wearing this watch. It matches all my jewelry. I made a bunch of these and I'm also wearing one. I am doing resin jewelry. And these are some of the pieces that I'm making and I've actually made a lot already. Over here is just my little drawer with a few of the pendants that I've made. I make keychains. This one's so pretty. 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Again, thank you to Nordgreen for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love this watch guys i know i've said it over and over again but i really do and again a reminder that i do have a discount code for you guys so that you can get one as well if you guys watched my upcat tips video i did recommend that you wear a watch during your upcat exam so maybe this is a sign good luck also to everybody taking sets a lot of you guys have been commenting and dming and it's really a season of stress and possible frustration but more than anything i hope that you guys stay hopeful and calm during your exam maybe you can rewatch a few of my tips i should probably re-watch that video as well i haven't seen it in such a long time so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did like it i hope that you can click the thumbs up as well as subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel so that's all i have for you guys today i hope i see you in my next video till then i love you guys so so much hugs and vessels Stay safe.